YouTubers, hey, good morning. Pastor Bob in CC. Hey, listen, I want to talk to you for just a minute. The other day I came out here and I found some fluid down here on the ground. And we all know this is a 1970 Harley Davidson shovel head, and they don't leak. I mean, that's we all know that, right? Okay. Well, listen, turned out to be brake fluid, and this is where the brake reservoir mounts is right here, and it got a leak in the seal and started leaking. Well, listen. Brake fluid is the greatest paint remover ever designed by man. And that drip dripped down, and how it missed the tank, I will never know. It hit the motor right here, and this is high temp baked enamel, and it took it right off. I mean, it just crinkled the paint. I gotta repaint that right down here. But I could have been repainting, you know, at least this tank right here. I don't I still don't know how it missed it. That would have been a bummer. Let me tell you about something else. I'm kind of into time, as most people I know. I, I just I fathom time and eternity and time pass. Well, let me talk to you about time. For you and me, life begins at conception. So this is your life. You have this little span of life, maybe, shoot, some people 20 years, uh, some people 40, 60, maybe 80. If you're really in good shape, don't smoke cuss or chew or hang out with women that do, you may make it to 100 years. But listen, you have this little span of life and this little bit right here determines all of eternity. Uh, it's not like playing Mario where you hit the button and reset it and get three more men or you go collect 100 coins and get another free man. No. One shot. That's all you got in life. One shot. Now, imagine eternity in heaven. A trillion years goes by, another trillion, another trillion, just trillions of years keep on going by. It never ends. It's eternity. It never ends. This right here is a narrow path. Only one person in four probably ever find it according to the parable of the sower. Now there's a heavy, broad path that everybody seems to be taking. And this broad path is sex, drugs, rock and roll, live your life the way you want to. Like Frank Sinatra said, I did it my way, do it your way. And this is where it leads. This rope is also eternity. Trillions of years go by, another trillion, another trillion, another trillion. The only thing is, this broad road, it leads to hell. Hell is right in the center of this planet. That's where this road leads, and then that eventually is going to get thrown into the lake of fire. Lake of fire, total torment, with demons that absolutely hate your guts that are going to take satisfaction out of just absolutely tormenting you for eternity. Another trillion years, another trillion, it never ends. It never ends. Listen, had that brake fluid hit my tank, two bolts, tanks off, take it down or get it repainted, I can fix it. You wind up here, you can never fix it. You can never fix it. You're going to look back and you're going to think, why did I let this tiny, tiny expanse of time set my future for all of eternity? Listen, whatever your philosophy is, whatever you think is happening, you need to take the time to get a Bible and read the book of John. The book of John, it's probably one of the greatest books in the Bible. There's no parables in it. It's easy to understand, and it talks about who Jesus was, how he came to this planet to save you. Jesus is the only ticket off this planet. He's the only way to eternity with God. He's the only way. There is no other. Do this a little bit your way. Wind up in hell. Turn your life over to him. Trillions of years in heaven. I imagine heaven, I imagine walking through the forest and having a big Bengal tiger or grizzly bear just pounce on you, take you to the ground and lick you to death, just like a big Labrador retriever. We cannot even imagine the things that God has prepared for us in heaven. You don't want to miss it. Heaven or hell? Listen, Yogi, you're supposed to be smarter than the average bear, right? Even you can figure this out. Just remember, the day you take your last breath, it's a done deal.